Welcome back to Happy Mommy Makeup. I have been gone for a year. Um, this is gonna be a two-in-one get ready with me uh, video. Uh, one explaining why I haven't recorded in the past year and it's nothing too crazy. It's very simple, honestly. And then the second part is it's a Taylor Swift inspired video. I wanna do a series of videos based off of Taylor Swift's cover albums since she's so popular right now um, and I'm a new Taylor Swift fan but my daughter Hayden is a big Swifty so this will be the first video in that series and it's gonna be based off her first album this is the cover the look is gonna be kind of inspired by this I'm not gonna show any of the products I'm just gonna kind of get ready and record and tell you what's been going on put these things back yeah. So, it's been over a year since I have recorded a video. Technically not true. Um, so I have attempted to record a video within the last year, uh, actually just a couple weeks ago, and <laughs> recorded it. And I went to go edit it and it didn't save properly. So Christmas of 2022, my husband got me a new video camera. This will technically be my third time recording on it, um, but the last two times um, I recorded, they didn't pro well, the first one it went through, but I wasn't impressed with the video, so I deleted it. The second video, um, it didn't properly record uh, because my camera wasn't formatted to the new camera, uh, which was very confusing because it worked the first time, but not the second time. Not really sure, but anyway. And so I got it, I was like, super excited, um, but then never got into recording. So the last video on my channel that I uploaded was the wedding video um which we recorded in september of 2022 but i didn't upload it until january 1st of 2023 <laughs> after that i just i just didn't get in into makeup didn't get into wanting to record even though i got a new camera i was super excited to do it but i just couldn't get myself to do it um no crazy reason why just i get in these spurts these habits which I've mentioned in my last video and I just I couldn't get myself to record anytime I want to record I didn't have time or I'd be like too late because I don't like to record late at night even though it's five in the evening now and I don't like to record in the evening <laughs> because I like to wear my makeup all day and utilize it and show it off but I know there's a lot of youtubers out there that do do their makeup super late at night and then immediately take it off and go to bed um which i can see the point in that for the videos and inspiration for others for makeup looks i think that's pretty awesome but so when i recorded the last video september i had just started back at college too that was my first semester back um for my bachelor's working on my bachelor's in general studies minoring in psychology, early care, and human development, family studies. Spring semester of 2023, you know, I've got, I'm working full-time, I'm going to school part-time, I'm a mother full-time. <laughs> I couldn't really find a time that I really wanted to record. Just a little particular about like when I record and not wanting to, um, you know, be disturbed while I record. And, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I've also moved my beauty room. <laughs> Got a whole new setup. Um, I was recording in the bedroom and now I'm recording in the office. My husband and I like rearranged the office so we're like he's on one half and I'm on one half, so one half of the room. That was also the thing, you know, after I got the video camera, we were gonna wait until we set up, you know, my space in the office and then that didn't that took for a little bit and then and then at some point our dog got diagnosed with 
um, congestive heart failure. I don't know if it was before 2023 or during 2023. Our oldest dog, Tristan, he was diagnosed and so he was very loud. He had fluid on his lungs too, so he was constantly coughing and making these loud noises. Um, so it was also kind of hard to record with that as well, with that being in the background. I'm not blaming this on him, it's just a lot of little things here and there. Um, he actually uh, recently passed away last week actually. Um, we had him for 12 and a half years, so we, we got to enjoy our time with him. He was very, very happy, happy boy. I can say that it's definitely quiet in the house now. Um, even even when he wasn't coughing, his little pitter patters on our floor, pitter patter feet on the floor, um, really filled the silence. Um, so we're we're definitely feeling his loss um, lately. But we know he's no longer, you know, struggling with his breathing and his, with his heart, and he's he's in a good place but yeah his I mean he was very loud um, so getting some quiet was a little difficult um, and just just getting the energy and just the desire to record was just hard for me last year not that I was struggling with depression or anything um, it was just I've just got to be in the mood for it and I guess I just wasn't um, I do my makeup every once in a while, but when I would do my makeup, I wouldn't have enough time to actually like sit down and record, um, like if I was going out or something. So here I am, finally recording after a whole year. <laughs> I can't guarantee I'll be better this year, um, but hopefully I can at least do a couple videos this year and not zero. Now for the Taylor Swift inspired makeup look, or eyeshadow look. So unpopular opinion, when I was younger, uh, I hated Taylor Swift. Didn't like it, I'm not a country fan, that's what she was known for um, at the beginning, was her country music. Some of it was catchy, um, it would get stuck in my head, but I hated it, I cringed at it. <laughs> but as the years have gone on, and now my oldest is a Swifty and been playing it a lot more. I have become more of a fan, enjoying her music, even her old country stuff. Again, I knew it. Taste of music kind of changes over time. Um, maybe at that age, I was just kind of rebelling that it was country and it's like, I don't do country ever. But here we are doing a Taylor Swift inspired makeup look based on her first video, or I'm sorry, based on her first album, which is a country album. <laughs> and I probably won't do it justice. I think Hayden will probably join me in some of these videos. I will have the products um, listed in the description, um, especially the palettes, the palettes that I'll be using. I'm using two palettes. The um, It's a Small World palette by ColourPop and the day and night um, palette from KAB Beauty. I've had a lot of like inspirations, inspirations <laughs> of like things I've wanted to do within the last year, like makeup looks. Um, you know, I've thought about Disney looks. We're a huge Disney fan. I don't know if you can see much of the Disney decor behind me, um, but this whole office is decked out in Disney. Might be the quickest video I've ever done. Not that much else. Um, the spring semester of 2023 I took two classes. Summer I took one class. Fall I took two classes. This spring semester I'm taking two classes. I'll take one during the summer, two during the fall, and then two next spring and I will graduate with my bachelor's in general studies when Hayden graduates high school. So we will be graduating around the same time. So definitely out of practice recording. It actually took me <laughs> lots of retries, um, lots of restarts to this video um, to actually get started. <laughs> I'd say something wrong or mess up or not know what to say. <laughs> I'm here recording a look. Oh, oh, when I'll get it 
edited and out in time. <laughs> That's also a thing. So, like I said in my last video, the wedding video, I tried hiring somebody to edit my videos. The person I was trying to hire wasn't doing my videos justice. He was knocking out, or he was leaving out important pieces of the video, and just, it didn't, it wasn't like my videos. <laughs> So I just said, after several attempts for him to um, edit it, I just said, forget it. Um, canceled his and just edited it myself. I guess the struggle with, you know, how last year I didn't have time to even edit. So why would I record? But you know, it's a new year. Um, there's so many people out there that can do it. I just need to have more self-discipline and desire and make time to do these things. Again, this is my take on Taylor Swift's first album. And I hope I do it justice. All right, so if by chance this makeup look turns out not the greatest. Um, like my brows here, I think I may have messed up. I'm doing this with no contacts and my glasses off. <laughs> so I can't properly see. Also, you know, I didn't feel like putting contacts in to uh, do this look. Let's curl these lashes, get some mascara. Okay, for this mascara. The well people. I don't know if it's because it's old, which is very possible, and that's why it stinks, or it's always stunk. But it has a pretty strong smell right now. I don't think I'm gonna do lashes because her first looks pretty simple. I feel like I don't know. Well, I don't know if this is simple, but um, I just feel a little it's like back in the day. Not really into lashes back then. I don't know. Maybe for one of her more recent albums or. Other albums, I'll probably do some lashes, but not not with this one. I probably chose wrong mascara for this one. Definitely did not pop my lashes like I was hoping. Go with a nude liner, and then I'm gonna go with a nude glittered gloss over top. Let's take these down. So all of 2023, I was basically blonde. Um, at the end of 2023, I decided. I'm not into blood anymore. I think uh, brown hair suits me much better. So, and then I got my bangs as well. All right, this is the final look. Uh, so this is my take on Taylor Swift's very first album. I hope I did it justice. Now I'll go see what Hayden thinks of it and see if I did. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, um, a whole year. <laughs> This whole year even just went by so fast I didn't even realize that it's been that long until, you know, here we are, 2024. <laughs> so hopefully it won't take as long getting out the next video, um, and Hayden will probably join me in the next one. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, sorry again. I'm back. I missed you guys. <laughs> it's, hopefully I'll be better. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but Happy New Year. Uh, until next time, bye.